Oh God, the load times. Jesus freaking Christ. Why? Your game is not that complex. Why is it loading so much? And why do the load times take so freaking long? Let's do this. What even is happening? I don't super understand what's going on here. Ooh. Ooh. I'm not damaging this this thing at all, so there's that. Ooh. Oh god damn it. Ooh. I was doing kinda well up until the point where I wasn't. Is the thing that they keep summoning new enemies until they get out of the out of the thing? Come on, let's do this. Oh god damn it. Shit. I was so proud that I did the the bike thing. I mean, I did it on easy, so I don't. I'm not sure it counts. But I did it in a single go without getting hit, not even once. And now I am having trouble dodging pillars. This is disappointing. Can get back here. There we go. Oof. Ooh, ah, oh, goddammit. That was too close. They are not fast enough. Feels a little bit weird. He's down. Now let's steal a spaceship and get out of here. That was okay. You're a queen. You're unflappable. Suck my frigging butt, you backstabbing punks. Chug my dump truck, you stinky wimps. Beep, beep, garbage butt backing up. I hate the battle toads. Hey, a queen. Correct me if I'm wrong. Earlier, did I hear you scream that we stink? What? No. I was talking about the cattle toads. Like you guys, but cattle. They stink. I'm so friggin' pumped. We're gonna be famous. Sup, Topian scum? We just stole a spaceship and we're coming for you. The battle toads and the Dark Queen are gonna destroy you. And in case you're wondering, our exact space coordinates are 3x5. Four, three. Stop that! Your Majesties? Yes, mortal. Moments ago, we received this transmission. The Battle Toads and the Dark Queen are gonna destroy you! <gasps> Did that voice just say it was going to destroy us? Who would want to destroy you? You've got the most amazing shape. I'm wearing Nebulas from Zorthos. You know, the cluster with the gross bugs? Oh, the gross bugs. See, I think they're cute bugs. With their little wobble. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the wobble. I wonder if they're ready to evolve. <gasps> Might be fun to set them up. With the fourth dimension? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> now see, this is why little old me and you run the universe. Oh, great ones. What do you want to do about the Dark Queen and the Battletoads? Huh? Oh, alert the galaxy and kill them. And I'm waiting on a sandwich. <laughs> great torturing, torture team. <laughs> Forgive me. Forgive? More like 400 lashes. <laughs> See what I did there? I took four. I love it. Whip him. Yes, and hear that pun in your nightmare. Yeah. Whip him. Whip him good. 
That should be a song. Write that down. Pardon my interruption, O oh floating ones, but we still haven't located the Dark Queen. Oh my god, what kind of an update is that? Yeah, restaurants don't say, excuse me, we haven't started making your food. Oh, you know, that one place did. Oh, that's right. The place that's mean on purpose. I don't want to pay you to be mean to me. That's what I have a mother for. Have you found the other ones? The, uh, arbal toes? The t total loads? Oh, the things we're looking for. The brut brutal bulls. Bartle bears? The tattle toes? The beetle bugs? Fire bats? The jitsu? Bat bat god, we got it. Bees. That's it. That's it. Battle bees. The battle bees. The battle toads. I'm afraid they've eluded capture as well. What? What did you do? Well, I made him three inches shorter. It doesn't seem like much, but his entire life will change. Now, do your job before I give you combination skin. That's like when part of your skin is dry. Parts are oily and parts are dry. Right. We need the right product. Yes. Those ugly toads and that spinny little witch might be more of a formidable team than we thought. We couldn't do this without you. You're the most important member of the team. Just don't tell the others I said that, okay? Where are we? Jerkery 9, an outer ring planet and home to an old cohort of mine named Jeffrey. And he's see-through? Cool! He's a well-connected diplomat who knows of a secret entrance into Topian City. However, I need to speak with him alone. Okay, what's going on here? I thought I was a leader. Are you all conspiring behind my back? Seriously, like, am I hearing it? Do I sound crazy? Am I crazy right now? No, no way! You're the leader. Okay, good. Great. In that case, I say the Queen waits outside while we talk to Jeff. You don't even know Jeff. Why would he trust you? Why do you trust me? I don't. That's why I don't want you talking to Jeff. Too bad. I'm pulling rank. This is so stupid. Stupid. I declare one of those thingies a tissue boom? Toe shampoo. Toe shampoo! Toe shampoo! Toe shampoo! And introducing the Dark Queen! Shampoo! Dark Queen loses! Toe Shampoo! Dark Queen loses! Toe Shampoo! Dark Queen loses! Dark Queen loses! Again! Sorry, Queen. Call me if you have any problems. Oof. Talk about a superiority complex. Okay, everyone, keep your eyes peeled for- Jeff! I'm Jeff. How may I help you? Yeah, hi. I'm in charge here, and we're gonna need you to tell us the secret way in Utopian City, please. And thank you. We're working with the Dark Queen. She works for us, actually? The Dark Queen is challenging the Topians? Of course I'll share the coordinates. However, I'll need to speak with the Queen herself, alone. We can call her. No. Anything you would tell her, you can tell us. Uh, that's the opposite of what I said. <laughs> Not to mention, I'm busy negotiating peace between two warring tribes by acquiring their medallions of respect. So, unless you connect me with the Dark Queen immediately, we have nothing left to discuss. Here. No! Give it here! Uh. Hello? Is something wrong? Uh, uh, um, uh, Je Jeff is fine. Jeff is fine. That's a weird thing to say. Can I talk to him? <clears throat> this is Jeff. Jeff? You sound different. I have pink eye. Pink eye doesn't change how you sound. I mean, pink mouth? So sorry, it's super pink. Gotta go. Bye. Whew. That bought us some time. Time for what? Time to help Jeff's body earn those medallions. He'll wake up and see what we did and then fork over the coordinates. Any objections? Will it matter? No, it will not. Let's find those medallions. I may start cutting some of these, these load screens off. And you can just assume they take forever. Toads? I've intercepted radio chatter about a Topian checkpoint in the area. Be careful, and don't leave the palace. That would be stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Ow! Oh crap! There's a bee in the spaceship! Ow, ow, ow! I don't know how I feel about this game referencing Pride and Prejudice, because that's a pretty decent book that... Again, adults would read and requires some modicum of understanding and comprehension to actually get to the meaning of it and why is it a good book. Why are you referencing that book in this game? Every series have to do more of this? Why? Why is this a thing?
Sí, lo sé, lo sé, lo sé, lo sé, pero... This is... I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know how I feel about anything anymore. I guess I have to give them credit for at least coming up with new enemy designs for every stage. Then again, the enemy designs are just... They are not particularly varied or... I mean, they are varied, they are just not... I don't know the word for this. Particularly iconic or well-developed. And it's always the same. It's just a skin. I guess this is a step above from a recaller. Except not really. Because at least you have a recaller, you can design a thing that's easy to understand and comprehend. And... Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this. Not, not a fan. Well, what is this thing? Why... Uh... Oh, dude. Come on, dude. What's up? Oh, yeah, I spit. There you go. This is how we solve that problem. Okay. Fair enough. <sighs> Look! That wooden gladiator has a medallion of respect! He's fighting in a nearby arena. How do you know? It's written on the billboard. Rash, can you read? Shh, you kidding? I read tons of books. Ah. Uh, I don't know what to say about this. So this is the tank enemy, kind of. Except not really. I don't know, it's just... Yeah, this is the one that I have to break guard off. It is weird, I find myself in this position where I really want to like this game, but it's... It's not helping me. It's not... <laughs> like, the game is not... This game does not want to be liked. Is about what I can say for it. But goddammit, I'm gonna keep trying. At least until I completely give up and get super annoyed. But that that will be maybe in 15 minutes. For now I am doing my best here. Come on, just grab the thing. Oh it's the other bee. Oh this one. Rings are B. Oh. Rings are Y. Fuck, I have no idea. I cannot even... I can't even try to describe what does what because it's so freaking backwards. Also because Xbox commands are stupid. I would probably have an easier time describing this using PlayStation terms. Controller inputs are one of those things that I, I really think should be normalized up to a degree. I think it's cool when a game has particularly unique control schemes. But it's just like... Oh, different combinations for everything, Jesus Christ. But if your game is going to have a very unique control scheme, you have to be able to justify that somehow, I think, like in, in my opinion. You can't just have, I mean, you, you obviously can, but you should not be able to have controllers that are drastically different from, from everything else if your game is just a, a brawler, like a million others before it. I don't know, that, that just feels really awkward to me. I don't understand why why you would do something like that because it doesn't really benefit either your game or the player it's one thing if your game is drastically different and innovative in some way that you need to have 
a particular control scheme. So I'm going to give a blind example. And let's say I'm gonna give an example of Death Stranding, a game that I haven't played yet. But I understand in general terms what is the thing about it. And it's like that game. Ooh, this is a bit awkward. I'm guessing I have to avoid the green thing. Let's just do this and see what happens. I, I don't know what the green thing is going to do. Yeah, I guess this is just a please solve the puzzle for me button. So, okay, I'm actually going to try to solve this. And if I if I can't, I would just cut. I will use the, the thing there. Does the power end because the power end? Or is there something... I don't understand what's going on. Okay, uh, time out. I need to, to solve this in, in a way that makes sense. This is driving me crazy. I don't understand why the power just goes out when he reaches that one. That, it, it makes no sense to me. I understand that one. Because it has no place to go. What about this? Why did that work? What? So at least with this, I know that it goes the other way. Is this going to work? Why? That doesn't... That doesn't make any sense. Why wasn't... God, fuck this game. I don't understand why that would be a thing. Whatever. Let's just keep going. And let's move to the heavy hitting guy so I don't have to play the combat for longer. Ah, uh, death perception. You are my eternal enemy. Oh, oh that's pretty cool. Do you have another one of these? Fuck my life, why? Why would you do this? So this one is the only option that makes sense. So let's try to work backwards and see if we can save ourselves some No, that's not going to work. Okay. But at least that's a... Ooh. Can we connect that with anything? I... This is not going to work either. But let's try it. I just want to make sure I understand the principles. Yeah, okay. I, I think I got it. I know how this operates now. So we definitely cannot be this one.
I don't I don't see how that could work. Hmm. Yeah. Why? I don't understand what that means. But why why didn't you go to the other So let's accept. No, this one doesn't work. This was the one that was incorrect. This leads nowhere. As it goes, it goes back, and then it has nowhere to go. But there is, there is no other thing that it could be. Why would that not work? And this one, this one can only be this. Let's try this. Is there any sort of connection that I can do with this? This is not gonna work either. I wonder if somebody's watching this and thinking like, oh my God, you're the stupidest person on this planet. I solved this a million years ago. Which I'm not. I'm not discounting that. This is the only way that this thing can make progress, right? Yeah, okay. So let's understand that our problem is now here. What are the options that we have? It has to be either this one or this one. With this one, there is only one way. And it doesn't connect to anything. So it can't be this one. It can only be this one. Ah, oh, that is interesting. So, what is going to happen here? Is it going to go to the other side too? Yeah, it is. Ah, oh, fuck, finally. I don't understand why the energy suddenly dies. That That is the thing that really trips me up. Yeah, I, I think my my goodwill is running out again. I would try to keep it. I would like to finish this act at least. But I, I just gotta say, I don't like what they did with the with the Dark Queen character. It is the mixed message again. I think all of my problems with this game boil down to simply that. The game just seems really confused about what it is or isn't. Because she clearly used to be a femme fatale kind, kind of character. Sexy, independent stuff. I don't know. Some would maybe call her character problematic nowadays. I disagree. But whatever. They changed it to this kind of... I don't even know what to call that character. But it changed it and I, I don't know how I feel about it. They infantilize her, which would make sense if you're making a thing for children, which is what this game seems like it wants to be from time to time. But it's not what it actually does. And I don't know, it feels confused. 
going back to that because that really is my general impression of it. And I think it's by far the most descriptive way that I can talk about it. Just say, it's not like... This seems like a product that was workshopped, but in the end they couldn't decide on a target audience. Because who would... Let's think about this for a second. Who would be super into a, a reboot of classic Battletoads that keeps referencing classic Battletoads all the time. Only people who would have any sort of affection for classic Battletoads, right? Like that's... That seems apparent to me. If you're trying to simply rebrand the, feel, the thing to something completely new, you would not reference the original property all the time. Unless you're trying to target both audiences at once, which commendable but dumb. It leads to this sort of confused narrative that you have right now. It's something that doesn't really... It is too broad to have reach to the, the target niche that is going for. I don't know, it, it feels really weird. I really wish I could express these thoughts in a more eloquent manner, but... You're stuck with me trying to play this game and rationalize bullshit while I do it. Uh, I like zits. This is pretty okay. I wish more of the game was conducive to like actually fighting with multiple characters, but you have very little reason to do it if you're not going after high scores or whatever. I don't understand why anybody would do this with this game. I have a very condescending, I guess you could say, opinion on competitive game. Like I think trying to beat high scores and I'm not opposed to challenge, but competitive gaming, I don't get the point. Look, it's Jeff. How did he beat us here? I think some things in life just won't make sense. What do you mean? Like, maybe God didn't have the time or the budget to make everything perfect, or maybe there were just some outside mitigating circumstances. Sounds like a lot of excuses. Yes, it does, Rash. Yes, it does. Metaphors for game development, yay.